Hey everybody, just flipping this chicken over, and while I'm out here, I thought maybe I'd shoot another episode of Cooking with, Cooking with Napalm. Napalm. That's right, Jed Johnson here, dieselcrew.com, they call me Napalm, and we're going to go ahead and cover some of your questions that have come up here on the YouTube channel. First off, we've got Jed, do you do bench press? I don't think I've ever seen you do that. Um, that's a, that's a good question. I do have a few bench press videos up here on the channel. It's never been my my strong point. It's never been anything that I really obsessed about since probably 2002. Um, I I train it. I train benching, uh, whether with a barbell or a dumbbell, pretty much every single week. I don't miss chest workouts. Uh, the problem is I have lingering shoulder injuries from baseball and they really only bother me when I'm benching. So generally I like to go one week bench, one week dumbbells. And honestly the last few weeks all I've been working on is dumbbells because I have a different shoulder injury on the left arm which has been bothering me. So it's just not a good exercise for me guys. So I don't do a lot with that, with that lift. I don't figure that it makes much sense to, to post it up here on the YouTube channel when it's such pathetic weight. Um, you know, for someone who, you know, is kind of a professional lifter, you know, my, my bench is probably three, 365 tops. I mean, I, come on, that's it's horrible. That's a touch-and-go bench. It's not, you know, competition pause and you know, go on command and all that stuff. It's pathetic. So I just don't post a lot of stuff here about about bench press because I think I would rather post something that I'm good at and I think I can actually share something with you on to help you improve yours. Like I said, I do have a few uh, example work uh, videos that you can see where I'm doing bench, but it's nothing impressive. Um, and then I just wanted to say thanks. Someone wrote, you're so dedicated, it amazes me. I don't watch these videos that often, but plus one for the dedication for sure. Much appreciated. I know that some of my videos uh, are probably not something that... Uh, you might not get into my videos because some of them might seem random uh, with the grip stuff that I do. But uh, I'm telling you, if you try some of these things... Even if you don't want to join a, the grip community or go to a grip contest, if you start working your hands intensely like I do with stuff that's similar to what you see in my videos, you're going to see a lot of benefit in your training. The stronger you get in the hands, the better you're going to perform in all your lifts. And it's not just pulling lifts like deadlifts and rows and pull-ups. It's also pushing lifts like bench press, overhead uh, lifting and things of that nature because you're able to control the bar, squeeze it harder, and make it do what you want to do, push it through the path that you want to, and have really good command over it. And even things like squats and things like that, you're just going to feel more secure when you can make that bar stay right where you want it to when you're going through the squatting motion. So I encourage everybody to do some form of grip training in order to get their hands, wrists, forearms, all that area as strong as possible and it'll also help you avoid injuries and bounce back quicker from injuries if you have them. Alright everybody, thanks a lot for watching this video. I appreciate your time. Make sure to subscribe and check out dieselcrew.com. Alright, until next time, all the best in your training. Take care.